So this is another episode of our series on the science of storytelling. Have you ever heard the, um, the phrase that stories are 22 you know, times more memorable than facts alone? Uh, if you do some searches on Google, you'll see this phrase. Quite frankly, it's just BS, right? It's, it's a myth that has grown up. And when I dug into where this myth came from, I think it's come from Jerome Bruner, who, um, you know, famous psychologists have done a lot of work in story. In one of his books, he sort of gives this off-the-cuff remark where he says, uh, look, stories are very memorable and they're about 20 times more memorable than facts alone. Right. And of course, this is then morphed into 22 times, because of course that sounds more precise and more accurate. Um, and it's now perpetuated across the internet. I've even seen a Stanford professor uh, do a video purporting this fact. I was hoping they would check out their research beforehand. But anyway, the facts are that if you want to find, look for some research that shows that, you know, stories are more memorable. One bit of research, which is, it's, it's way back from 1969, it was done by two professors from Stanford. Interesting, you know, some of the early work was done in Stanford. Um, and it was uh, by two, two professors, Bauer and Clark. And those two guys essentially uh, got lists of words and got you know a group of people to look at a disconnected set of lists of words and then a, a list of words that was connected by a story right they got the actual participants to connect them via a story and when they did that uh, they found that the people who connected their words by a story were six to seven times more memorable than the the the, the list was which was just random okay six to seven times that's phenomenal right Imagine if you uh, went to a networking event, right, and there's a hundred people in there and you, you walk away with it and you can remember five, five names, right? And, but now, let's say with this, you know, increase in ability, you go to another networking event, instead of just five names you can remember, now you're remembering 35 names. This is sort of the jump up. It's like a saying bolt. You know, if you can do, you know, a, an absolute amazing sprint in 100 metres, right, instead of doing it in 9.7 you know, or whatever he does, it, he does it in two seconds, right? That's literally done. He's over. Imagine that sort of improvement. That's what stories can do for us, right? Um, make them more memorable, make them so that they actually have an impact on other people. And of course, you know, why are they memorable? Because they have emotion, you know, we remember what we feel, and they have visuals, we have phenomenal ability. These are all things that are, you know, um, feed into the fact that stories are memorable. You know, visual, our visual senses are, are so uh, amazing in terms of our ability to recognize faces and things like that. Anyway, I think this is for another probably uh, video clip. But just remember here that it's really about the fact that stories are six to seven more times more memorable than facts alone.